Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and man, we have been ranting on this issue of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's alleged car chase. If you want to see the full rant, I urge you to become a member. Hit that join button and watch today. But guys, we got to break this down a little bit more because more and more evidence is coming in. And now Meghan and Harry are demanding that the paparazzi give them the footage of the chase. But they are the ones who filmed it. I, I can't make rhyme or reason to this, guys. Here we have an image from the paparazzi with Harry holding up the phone. Now, before you criticize Megan for smiling, I said it earlier, I'm gonna say it again. I don't fault her for smiling. If she didn't smile, she'd give an angry or mad face. She knows it's gonna be put everywhere. So I do applaud her, but it just shows how much she's paying attention to the image and everything else. Uh, if she gave a uh, angry face, I'd have it in the thumbnail. Steph would. You'd never see the end of it. So she's trying her best to keep cool amongst the situation. But you can tell Harry here is terrified, and he's immediately put his phone to protect himself. And even Megan's mom is down, sort of frustrated. Uh, and she's got to do her thing, which, again, shows she's, you know, worried about her image, et cetera, et cetera. The whole thing just looks bad. Because why are they in a taxi cab without seatbelts? This makes no damn sense. They were taken from their SUVs and a security like detail to be put in a stranger's cab, a taxi cab guy who then went and did interviews and talked badly about them. This is the worst security detail I've ever seen in my life. I can't believe they took them out. But here, so here we are, there they are, and we have proof. Harry filmed it. Harry has the footage. But no, guys, Harry and Meghan are demanding that the agency give them the footage. Uh, give it back. And uh, the agency back, I hate to root for a paparazzi firm, but man, did Backgrid, the paparazzi firm, clap back hard here. They rejected the Sussex demand saying in a letter, in America, as I'm sure you know, property belongs to the owner of it. Third parties cannot just demand it be given to them, as perhaps kings can do. Perhaps you should sit down with your client and advise them that his English rules of royal prerogative do to demand that the citizenry hand over their property to the crown were rejected by this country long ago. We stand by our founding fathers. I mean, damn, that's a pretty big clap back to Meghan and Harry, I gotta admit. Uh, but yeah, I mean, what, are the, what is this? They're demanding the footage for what, Steph? Another Netflix special? I, I don't understand if this was wrong, if they really were chased the way they're saying, show us, show us. Because the problem is right now, they're, they seem like the boy who cried wolf. This has happened so many times now, and this is such a dumb thing to lie about. People were scared when this happened. Like I, when I got that text message, and I don't know about you guys, I think I said this earlier in the video, but I'll make sure this gets clear. When that text message, when, it, when the headline went out that they put into the world, right? They put the headline, near uh um uh car what was it uh near catastrophic car crate chase like i thought they were injured or hurt or something had bad had happened to them and no nothing happened they were fine no damage nothing nypd has come forward the mayor has come forward click out check out all the witnesses have reacted to this this is insane i've said this analogy a lot but it's like screaming fire in the movie theater because someone's smoking a cigarette you can't do that this is dangerous and for them to have the audacity, their response now as they're getting caught is to demand the agency because they know they're not going to get it. But if anything, the agent, I wish the agency would put it out there to be like, well, yeah, there's nothing wrong. What, what are we, why wouldn't we? Um, it's a whole, they're, they're all playing this PR game or even their own, P, we, we played it earlier, but even their own PR people are out there trying to say like, well, you know, it was a two hour ordeal. And, you know, at one point it went up to 80 miles an hour. I mean, like none of this makes a lick of sense. The whole story doesn't make sense. And they're trying to play it like, oh, you guys are being mean. Of course there was a chase. Maybe it's a little bit over time, but it definitely happened. Da -da 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 -da. No, this didn't, this didn't happen. And this is not a good look. Steph, I, I, I gotta be honest, watching all this go down, I'm turning more to your side. This is, this is frustrating. I, I've been trying to give them the benefit of the doubt at times, but it's hard to see this as not an excuse for attention. Look, I know Harry, I get Harry, I feel bad for Harry. His mom, we lost him in a car or a car chase with paparazzi, but we also lost her because she wasn't wearing a damn seatbelt. And now these three are in a, this high profile, crazy two hour pursuit and their security's putting him in a taxi cab without seatbelts so he can film. Like make this make sense, Steph. This isn't right. I imagine you're, you're finally excited to see me turn the tide. <laughs> 
Firstly, welcome to the dark side. We welcome you with open arms to the Megxit community. Um, yeah, so uh, this, uh, am, I, am I surprised that they're pulling this BS? No, no, we, we've seen this before. Uh, we know that they love uh, uh, Team Sussex, the Sussex squad, love to make comparisons between Meghan Markle and Princess Diana when it comes to treatment from the media. You only have to look as far as their mockumentary on Netflix, Harry and Meghan, to see that, oh my goodness, the comparisons between how the media treated Princess Diana, oh my goodness, it's the same for Meghan Markle. Like hell it is, like hell it is. And this is absolutely insane how they're turning around and saying, oh yeah, we were involved in a two hour near catastrophic car chase when NYPD, the New York mayor, the paparazzi, even the freaking taxi drivers turning around and saying, freaking what? Calling BS on the whole lot. Now, the fact of the matter is this. All these receipts are coming out with eyewitness testimony turning around and saying, Megzi and Hazza are talking BS on this. Well, guess what? Ball is in their court now. If, if, if you're saying, yeah, that you're in a two-hour freaking car chase in New York City that was near catastrophic, well, I got four words for you guys. Show me the receipts. Show me the receipts. Because we're seeing the receipts so far and uh, it's all pointing to, um, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, being liars yet again. We know that they love to bend the truth. And so here we are again. Yeah, it's just weird. Kim, I know you've been more in the middle of all this, but are, do you share my frustration? Like, I don't want to hate on these two people. I don't care that much. I do feel for Harry. I do feel like this is a scary thing for him to do with his mother, etc. But isn't this wrong to try to put out a press release from your team, heighten this as, 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 as serious as they did? Did you fall for that too? Did you think something was wrong? I mean, I absolutely was concerned. I, I mean, I am not really... Um pro for them or not for them in any way. I, I'm kind of in the middle and it doesn't really matter a huge amount to me. But I think when it comes to talking about the Royals and anything to do with car accidents, I think we all immediately react. Um, like it's just, in, you almost, you can't help it because of the loss of Diana. And we all, we don't want to see that happen again because it was horrible. And I don't want to see that happen to Megan. I don't want to see that happen to Harry. I don't want to see that happen to anybody. But at the same time, when we take a look at this, I have a few issues with how this has gone down. The first thing is that I have a lot of questions about their security. I don't know what security, respectable security thinks that it's a good idea to take people out of a car that has the tinted windows with a driver that you know and put them into a cab where they can be fully seen with a driver you do not know it doesn't make any sense. And I have seen that widely reported that security is going like, like other security companies are saying this doesn't make any sense. Then you add in that they're saying in their statement that they don't want to see any of this footage distributed. But then they're saying, we want all the footage, give us the footage. If it really was that bad, put all the footage out because I think most people that have like common sense and a good head on their shoulders will be able to see if it's really, really bad. And if it is really bad, then it's obviously something that needs to be addressed because no celebrity, no person should be harassed to the point that they fear for their lives. But when you have the cab driver talking to the press and saying, I wasn't scared, it kind of makes you wonder what actually is the truth here because math ain't mathin'. Well, I'm glad you said that because I think we, as I'm watching this footage, I want people to see like, now granted, this is part of it. Um, cause we played this earlier, but I want to make sure we play it in the main video. Cause I didn't play this in the, the restart, right? Steph, I'll make sure we played this here because mm -hmm. we watched it earlier. But to me, when I watch this, it shows more against Harry's security detail <laughs> than the paparazzi. So here's the footage of them when they apparently left the SUVs to a plain taxi cab and they rush out. Now paparazzi have found the taxi cab. There's maybe three or four paps there. There's someone else, I guess, following them because there's another guard. They get close. I don't know. What kind of picture was that, idiot? Like, <laughs> uh, 
And then he's like, get out of the way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They're very polite. They're just taking pictures. It's a public street. They're allowed. Be annoyed all you want. They're allowed. You're celebrities. What is this weird taking pictures of the hood? You couldn't even like look into the... <laughs> it's so weird. But Body anyway, fire. here they are. They're in the way. And now the, the guy just left them in the cab with a stranger. Just left Harry and Meghan with a complete stranger. Uh, they're not wearing seatbelts. There's a strange cab driver who who knows where, what they're going to do with him. And and he's trying to push the paparazzi away, which are you even allowed to do that? And now they're holding up traffic. If you look back there, these two police cars have now been approaching and are like, get out the way. What do you do? Why is this car? Why is this road not moving? Because, you know, he thinks he's allowed. Look at him taking his stroll while there's two police cars trying to get through the street. mess you can hear like get moving move and then it finally moves as then the cops get around and i guess it's some security loan detailer and then you can see here those aren't harry megan's cops those are just locals they turn right pop follows the cab there to the left on screen to keep trying to follow them on foot i don't see anybody chasing them i mean there's people on foot Easier to follow people probably on foot and bike in, in New York than ever. But when I watch this footage, and granted, this is only a portion of it. Apparently, it was two hours long, guys, in New York. Must have been real fast. Uh, <laughs> going real fast. Uh, I, I look at the security detail, and I think, Megan, Harry, you need new security. This is awful. This is so weird. Like, mm -hmm. you're, a, you're a celebrity. It comes with the, This is your tax that you pay as someone who's very wealthy and famous. I, you don't, I don't have empathy for this. Sure, I, I, I get it. It can suck having your life be stuck and taken away from paparazzi. You can't go outside. But guys, you're so wealthy. You're so popular. You have private security detail and you can afford it. And you're continuing to make lots and lots of money. I, stop trying to play like you're victims here. You're not. You're a celebrity. And it comes with territory. And sure, paparazzi should leave them alone when they're trying to get to their home. I agree. Paparazzi take too far. But they, you, you got to figure out ways to do it. That's what your security detail is for, to come up with a scenario or a situation to get you out of that. Take you to the police station. Take you somewhere else so you don't have this mess happen in the first place. But if anything, be mad at them. Don't be mad. The paparazzi are going to be there. You can't just get rid of them. Sorry. Well, it is what it is. And you know that at this point. But this constant, oh, we are so, we need to be left alone, blah, 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 blah. I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it. This isn't the way. And for them to cry trauma, like not trauma, uh, uh, like actual fatal accident, the words fatal, near fatal were used to describe this. Yeah. No, enough. This isn't right, especially with with Diana. Like I, to, to, to put that out in the world, which they did, Steph, I'm angry. <laughs> I'm angry. You don't get to play the, oh, we were almost in a car accident card when her, his mother actually died in a car accident unless you actually really were almost in a car accident. You don't get to play that. I need to see some damage. I need to see some actual arrest happen. Unless that happens, no, 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 sorry. Get a better security detail so this doesn't happen. You don't get swarmed by paparazzi. But uh, am I crazy? Final thoughts from you, Steph, before I clip this? No, not at all. Uh, we've seen them, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, lie and bend the truth before when it comes to the paparazzi. If you all remember end of last year, the Netflix mockumentary, as I like to call it, of Harry and Meghan, the adverts, the promos leading up to that, um, they used footage of the paparazzi, right? And it all was indicating, it was all telling this story of the paparazzi hounding, stalking Meghan Markle, treating her like they treated Princess Diana back in the day. Guess what, though? They were caught out. They were found out because some of the images, some of the footage that they used in that promo were events that the paparazzi were there, but Hazard and Megzi weren't, okay? So we've seen them bend the story, bend the truth, in my opinion, because Bersie Theory, whatever, lie about this situation. And so, yeah. I'm, I'm not surprised. It's all to further their agenda of we are 
Fitkins and Meghan Markle is Princess Diana 2.0. Freaking, she can get a cactus, lace it with chili oil and shove it up her backside <laughs> before you even consider even thinking about calling her Princess Diana 2.0. She can freaking take a running jump as far as I'm concerned. Kim, thoughts? I, I mean, I'm trying to be empathetic. I'm trying to see their side of the story. I'm sure it was scary for Harry, but at the same time, I think this is a combination of they need better security. And we also they have to understand why people don't believe them when they say stuff like this, because the evidence isn't there to back up what they're saying. It doesn't make sense. And if it really is this bad for them, then I really think that the public needs to see it so that we can all come together and actually do something about it to fix it. But if we can't see it, we can't help. If only if the only thing we're seeing is contradicting what they've told us, we're going to assume they're lying. And I don't think that that means that you're any type of ist or whatever. It's just, let, let's get some truth out. Let's get some truth. Let's focus on that and move forward. I'm glad nobody got hurt. I hope nobody gets hurt. Also, this paparazzi is the worst paparazzi. Like, he's literally <laughs> filming the hood of the car. Oh, what, like, is he, did they just hire some dude off the street to fake this? Hello? <laughs> Aim it at the window, dummy! Like, what the hell? You, you, you but, never but, uh, know. You never know. I'm sorry. Seeing him with the camera, you got the footage. So yeah, you tried to demand it. You're demanding it, of course. You want more footage for your specials. It, uh, I, I get it, but no, you don't get to just demand it. You don't get to have it. That's not how the law works here. They are right. Backgrid is right. Um, the, pro the footage probably sucks, but if anything, I wish that if they have slow footage of nothing, they should release it because it's gonna only show more how ridiculous this couple looks. Uh, and if Meg and Harry have something else, I'll be the first to correct myself. If they are able to prove it and show me otherwise, by all means, I will go team Meg and Harry and be like, how dare they? They were telling the truth, we were wrong. I will admit it, but this is ridiculous. To, to, to know you have the footage and now you're demanding that they, let, will we demand yours, Harry? I demand to see Harry's footage. Steph, I demand it. As Popcorn Planet King Andy, I demand we must see Megan's full phone and make sure she didn't tape anything by accident that could show that this wasn't the case. Please, Megan Harry, give me it right away. We will premiere it here tomorrow. Thank you guys so much. Uh, we got lots more to talk about though, uh, but this is ridiculous. What do you think in the comments down below? Let us know. And we got so much more. I wanna hear your thoughts, chat. I got a lot of comments and we got some new Johnny interviews we're gonna go through. Lots more to go through here on the live. So don't go anywhere. And in fact, if you're watching live or on the replay, consider becoming a member. Hit that join button, pick a tier, pick the hit the join button and join us because you'll be able to catch the uh, full replays at your leisure.